All right, guys, in this video, I want to show you how you can combine SEO and Google ads to put a strategy together, which will allow you to get leads pretty quickly through the door by running the Google ads and then working on SEO over time so that you can build up the business and grow organically long term without having to constantly spend more and more money on ads. So for this purpose of this video, I'm just going to give you a quick example that I've come up with that I think will demonstrate what I'm showing you here. And it's going to be for a dentist in Sydney. However, you can apply this exact same principle to like law firms, plumbing, basically any local business where you want to get leads through the door. So to start with, what you need to determine is obviously what you want to show your ads for or what you want to rank for. Now, ultimately, for the keywords that you want to show the ads for, but you don't necessarily want to show your ads for every keyword you want to rank for. And that's a key distinction here. So basically the overall strategy behind it is you want to get the high intent keywords through the door pretty quickly so things like people searching dentist near me or best dentist in sydney or something like that to get those people who need the thing now and sell it to them now you want to get in front of them but you also those are going to be the most competitive keywords to rank for but then you've also got the informational strategy around it where you want to build content around different aspects to do with this but you don't want to bid on those keywords because it's going to cost you a lot and the conversion rate is going to be lower, but it's going to allow you to get a lot more traffic. So I'm going to show you an example of what I would do in this particular case. So let's say we're talking about dentist in Sydney. We've got the main keyword. It's basically going to be dentist Sydney or Sydney dentist. You can see here that is the one with the highest searches. So that because that's such a high commercial intent keyword, that's one that we'd want to add to the list that we'd want to rank for, but we also want to run the ads for it. Now, if we take a look at this and we see the CPC here, it's going to be about $3, which is a US. This is $3 US. If we go into the Google ads keyword planner, I've already opened it up. You can see here we got dentist dentist near me. Those are the two biggest search volumes. And you can see that the bid is about between $5 and $15 New Zealand. Now that's probably about four, maybe four and a half dollars Australian to about $14 Australian. So it's roughly the same. The point here is that this means if you can get a conversion rate of about 10%, you'll be paying anywhere between 50 to $150 to get a lead. So let's say a couple of those convert might cost you between 100 to 150 dollars maybe up to $300 to get a client. But as we know, a lot of patients in dentistry can cost a couple hundred dollars, if not, you know, a couple thousand, depending on what they need. And so the potential to make the return is there. You just need to make sure that you're actually showing these ads to the right people. And that's the key here. So basically, if I was to approach a campaign like this to do a dentist's website or Google ads and SEO, what I would be doing is I'll be going through this list and picking out all of the very specific keywords that they want to rank for or that they they want to run ads for so in this case it would be like dentist dentist sydney dentist near me dental practice all of these very specific commercial based keywords and so normally you would export this entire list you'd go to the right here on the page and you would hit this and you would export this list and you would filter through this entire list of keywords to figure out which you want to show ads for and which you don't. So there are going to be a lot of keywords here that you don't want to show ads for. So for example, if the dentist doesn't do dentures, just as a random example, you'd want to eliminate those, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And so basically what you do is you run the ads immediately for those very specific high intent keywords. And so when that's done correctly, you should see a conversion rate of about 10 to 15% if you've done this correctly. And that's going to allow you to get patients or customers or clients, if it's a different type of business, for a profitable amount of money. And then what you do from there is because ranking for these exact same keywords is going to be a lot more difficult. If we take a look at this, you can see Dentist Sydney has a keyword difficulty of 53%, which for Australian standards of keywords is actually quite high. I know in America, you definitely get like 80%, 90% type keywords, but we're talking about local business in Australia, which isn't as competitive. This is quite high. And so it's going to take you a while to rank for this keyword. And so basically that's why you're running the ads because you want to get those customers or patients in this case through the door quickly before you actually manage to rank for this, which might take you like nine months. And so what you do in the meantime is you figure out what keywords can you start ranking for to begin with. So at this point, let's say you've launched your ad account, you're running your ads for dentist, dentist Sydney, dentist near me, etc, etc. And now you want to start making content. So the first thing you would need to do is obviously make all the service pages. So for example, let's pull out one of these Sydney dentists, we'll take a look at a couple of them. 
and we'll see what they've got. But basically you would wanna make all the pages for the different services you offer so that you can actually stand a chance of being relevant for that topic. In this case, it would be dentistry and all the different services within it. So let's say for example, you offer veneers, Invisalign, implants, teeth whitening, checkups. You would wanna make pages for all those because Google is looking for websites that, you know, match the description, let's say, and have all of these things to make them relevant for the particular topic of being a dentist. And so you want to cover as many of those as you can to begin with. If we compare what the other guys have as well, let's take a look. You can see here, you got different treatments, patients. Let's see what they've got on the treatments. Let's open this up. So you've got cosmetic, you've got implants, restorative, general, Let's see what else they have here. Uh, they'll probably have a few others here. This is probably not that well optimized. And if we take a look at this one, we're just having a quick scan here just to get an idea. You can see here again, emergencies, preventative dentistry. They've got all these sub pages, which is actually quite good. Restorative, extractions, root canal, et cetera, et cetera. So you'd wanna have as many of these pages that you offer the services for as possible, because if somebody searches like cosmetic dentist Sydney, you'll see that that's probably a keyword. As you can see here, pretty decent search volume, actually not that difficult. So if you made a page for Cosmetic Dentist Sydney, you'd probably rank for it if you did it properly. So that's one why you'd wanna do that. And then you go through and do all of them. Let, let's say for example, Invisalign. Yep, same thing here. You can see that as well. So if you made an Invisalign page, you'd be ranked for that. So basically you need to make these pages for all these specific keywords. You would wanna go through the list and pick out all of the different keywords here. If you open this up, you'll find a bunch of them that relate to this. And so that will allow you to build topical relevance for these main topics that you're gonna be running the ads for to eventually rank for. However, these are obviously very competitive sections of the service and it's gonna take some time to rank for those. And in order to rank for those, you need to build the content around these pages. And so that's where SEO is gonna come in, differentiated from Google Ads. So what I mean by that is, let's use this Invisalign strategy here. You can see here that there's a bunch of different questions and a bunch of different keywords relating to Invisalign. So let's open these up and have a look. Now, obviously these are relevant to Sydney. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the keyword Sydney in this case, and I'm just gonna open Invisalign as a main keyword, because this is gonna give us more topics that we can work with. Because obviously when someone's searching like, is Invisalign good for me or something like that, they're probably not gonna type in the keyword Sydney. However, you can still make it locally relevant. So what you'd wanna do is for each of the different areas you wanna rank for, you wanna go through and find the different things you should be writing about as well. So for example, let's say you've got, how much does Invisalign cost? You probably don't wanna bid on this keyword by running ads for it. And the reason why is because the intent of actually buying the thing is not gonna be as high as somebody searching like best Invisalign in Sydney because that's a much more high intent. Like they want the best one now, whereas this person is probably more in the information gathering stage. And so you're gonna have a much lower conversion rate by running ads for something like this. And as a result, it's gonna take you more clicks and it's probably not gonna be profitable. So that's where the SEO strategy comes in, where you start attacking these keywords that you don't wanna run ads for because it's probably not gonna be profitable and try and rank for them because now you don't have to pay for that traffic and it's not as, you don't have to squeeze as much money out of it that quickly as, as you need to with ads to make it work. So what you do is you go down this list, basically that's a best one. Invisalign cost, how much does it cost? That's a great topic. If we go to, Invisalign versus braces, that's also another good one. What's the cost of Invisalign in Sydney? You even get specific Sydney ones, so that's a perfect thing to blog about here. You could also talk about like maintenance for, or what is Invisalign, that's a good one. What, is there any maintenance to Invisalign? There'll be a bunch of different questions if we keep going down here. Does it work? How does it work? Reviews, you could do something about that. You could do before and afters, I saw that keyword earlier, where you show you know different patients before and afters and what people can expect. You've also got how to clean Invisalign, that would be a good one. So you can see here, we've got all these little topics around the main cluster that we'd wanna go for. But for example, you would not want to bid for how to clean Invisalign. You don't wanna run ads for that, but you do wanna make a blog about that because then people will find that. They will probably not come to you straight away, but they might recommend you to someone. They might share that blog. You know, they'll, it'll help get traffic to your website, help make you more relevant for Invisalign, et cetera, et cetera. And so then what you do is you're now running ads for the main keywords that it's gonna take you a while to rank for. And while that's happening and you're getting patients or you know customers or clients, if it's a different business, you start making content about all these topics. And so then slowly you start building up your website and it starts ranking for more and more keywords, more and more long tail keywords around your main topics and eventually starts pushing your main topics up. 
And so what will happen is at one point or at some point, you're going to hit a point where the leads or the traffic coming in from SEO matches what you were paying for with your ads. And then at that point, what's going to start happening is it's going to start increasing at some point in the future, probably about a year from now, you're going to be getting more traffic and more leads coming from organic search or SEO than you were with paid ads, assuming you haven't scaled your budget. If you keep scaling your budget, then, you know, obviously you're going to have more there. But at some point, the SEO will catch up. And then, you know, if you keep scaling the ads and then both will start going up. And so that's why you combine these two, because like I said, you can rank for keywords that will not be profitable to run Google ads for, but they will be to rank for because you just got to write one article and then you leave it there. And what's going to happen is it's going to start ranking. And then as a result, you're going to get some of that traffic in that wouldn't be profitable to run ads for, but it will be good for getting traffic you don't have to pay for once the article's done. And then some of those will eventually convert into potential customers, patients, clients, whatever, or they'll share it with someone and they might convert, etc. So that's how you combine these two. I wanted to make this quick overview of how you do this because this strategy works really well. And I've done this for dozens of local businesses at this point, and it actually works really, really well. Because like I said, it gets you the leads or the customers in quickly to begin with. You don't have to wait nine months to see any profit from SEO or however long it's going to take in your particular case. However, at the same time, you get this long term growth strategy where eventually it does take off and then you start getting a bunch of leads and clients and it continues to grow if you continue doing it. So hope you guys enjoyed that one and got some value out of that. If you have any questions about this strategy, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. And yes, just to clarify, this does still work after March 2024. I'm still doing this for a bunch of local businesses and it's still working perfectly fine. Otherwise, if you would like me to do this for you, then go to dominatemarketing.io and you can book a call with me there and I'll see if this strategy will work for your particular business and you know what that would look like. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Catch you on the next one.